Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Early Childhood Corner, sponsored by Kath and G. McGovern and McGovern Foundation. I am Jacob. This is... Ziggy! Ziggy! And today we're going to be making our own insert activities. So what an insert activity is, is basically you have a container and then you have something that you put into that container. Um, and the way we're gonna make them is we have, you know, we have some, we have a little coffee can here. We have a, a can for wasabi peas, a little salt shaker, um, and then a really small uh, matcha green tea powder can. And really just anything works. All of ours are cylinders, but uh, you can do this with boxes, anything that can hold an object. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to, yes? I can put my hand in my back. You can, and she can put her hand in her back, so that's pretty cool. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to cut a little hole in the lids of these so that um, you can insert each object in. We'll go ahead and start with the um, salt shaker because it already has, that's the cool thing about these, is it already has the little holes in it. So for the salt shaker, I'll put out for Ziggy um, some little toothpicks and she can insert those into those holes of the salt shaker. You wanna do that, Ziggy? Go ahead. And while she's doing that, I'll start working on cutting these. That is the green one. Yeah. Now, obviously, I'm going to be using a little X-Acto knife. This is something that you want to have control over if you're using a knife to cut this. It's a little of the green one. And you can see already there is some nice color sorting going on here. Um, so if you ha are using a knife, you should always be very careful. Make sure that your child does not get a hold of the knife. A red one, that is awesome. And you just wanna make sure that you cut a hole big enough for whatever object you're going to be putting into it. So I just use the object itself to measure. Something that uh, you can do when you're doing an insert activity is you can invite your child to count everything they're putting in. So Ziggy, can you start counting what you put in there? And tell me how many you put in. That was our toothpicks. Which one do you want to do? Coins, playing cards, or popsicle sticks? Popsicle sticks. There you go. There you go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. There were six popsicle sticks. So we have one more that we want to try. This one, uh, I do want to say before I get started with this one, if you're going to be doing anything with coins, because these pass hands all the time, people uh, are touching these, these have been touched by so many different people and they get kind of nasty, it's important to clean them off beforehand. So you're going to want to put them in something like a colander and just run them under the sink and get them nice and clean. Um, even with some soap is a good idea. So definitely, if you're going to be playing with coins, clean them off before you play with them. All right. There you go, Ziggy. I'm counting things too. Okay, you want to come by yourself? Go ahead. <laughs> nice. High five, Ziggy. Well, let's do it again. There you go. 
All right, thank you everybody. That is our episode for today. That's our activity. Um, so really you can do this with any kind of material and with any kind of container. Uh, I really like these cylinders though. These are a lot of fun. So thank you again. My name is Jacob. This is... Ziggy, and this has been our Early Childhood Corner, sponsored by Catherine G. McGovern and McGovern Foundation. Goodbye, everybody.